we uh, very recently conducted a flight test, uh, the U.S. Army in North of Grumman at White Sands Missile Range in uh, New Mexico. Uh, this was a developmental flight test uh, conducted uh, with really two major objectives associated with it. One was risk reduction for the upcoming initial operational test and evaluation that IBCS will be going through this fall and into, into early spring. And then the other second objective was focused on uh, essentially demonstrating the system capability to integrate sensors uh, and effectors. And uh, from a multi-domain command and control perspective, uh, the test architecture incorporated uh, both uh, a Patriot radar, Sentinel, two Sentinel radars, a U.S. Marine Corps Gator radar, and then two F-35s. And so by uh, integrating all those sensors uh, and also including in a test environment that included electronic attack, the system effectively demonstrated an engagement of a cruise missile surrogate target. Uh, so very exciting for the program. Uh, significant uh, milestone for the program as it heads into uh, fielding for the U.S. Army beginning in late 2022-2023. Northrop Grumman is really excited to be able to work with Polish industry. Recently, we've been able to do some work with Transbit, uh, integrating some of their capability, as well as have a memorandum of understanding uh, with uh, Teldat. One of the things that that actually allows us to do is show the capability of our IBCS architecture that integrates multiple sensors or effectors across the board wherever uh, the Ministry of National Defense wants to take IBCS and the integration to deliver a tremendous capability here in Poland uh, for modernizing integrated air missile defense.